wake up, work, and it's got me pretty stressed out to the point where I don't don't really eat like I should. I'm a fueler for a rental company. In the winter time, it's a lot uh, more strenuous. He works, you know, anywhere from seven in the morning till four in the morning the next day, seven days a week straight. My work is dangerous. I'm basically driving a bomb around, a truck full of fuel. My dad works a lot. He wakes up early and comes home late at night. I wouldn't want Courtney to do what I do. I want her to go to college. I want her to have more opportunities in life. That's why I put Courtney in coding. Okay, girls. The goal was really just trying to get them comfortable not being afraid to make mistakes. Everybody listen to Courtney, please. So to get the cat to pop out, I had to, like, to get it out. I had to just leave that there. It's difficult because you have to do this math with it. And what's like, that math for? <laughs> to, when you click, to show where it will go. <laughs> okay, so. Coding has taught me that nothing comes easy. <laughs> Girls Who Code is a lot more than just coding. Um, we cover a lot of life skills, asking questions, working together in teamwork. Coding makes you like be able to create stuff. I get to see my what I create come to life. I put her in these extracurricular activities so she can advance and have a career that's less labor intensive. I think coding will give them, you know, more opportunity for not only employment, but it's also sort of the next craft. Courtney is the center of my world. I've had full custody of her since I was in the, the military. She's kept me strong and focused. My goal before I die is to just make sure that her life's as comfortable as can be and I'm here as much as I can be for her. I like to make stories, which means I would like to make them come to life. My dream is to probably work at Cartoon Network. Which she always, when she puts her mind to it, she can do anything she wants. Courtney's smart, she's kind, and she's a coder.